the young and the restless spoilers shock. Lucy paced back and forth in her room, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and frustration. Her mother, Heather, had been missing for days, and every attempt to reach her had led to dead ends. The phone calls went unanswered, the texts unreplied, and now, the only person she could turn to was her father, Daniel. But even he seemed to be growing more distant, consumed by something he wasn't willing to share. Lucy couldn't shake the feeling that something terrible was about to happen. Daniel, meanwhile, was following a dangerous trail. He had become obsessed with finding out the truth about Heather's disappearance, and in doing so, he had uncovered something far darker than he ever imagined. His suspicions had been growing ever since strange messages started coming through on Heather's phone. The texts were cold, calculated, and completely out of character for Heather. She wasn't the type to send cryptic, disjointed messages, especially not to him. That was the first clue that something was terribly wrong. And then, it hit him. Someone had stolen Heather's phone. The thought chilled him to the core. Whoever was sending those messages wasn't Heather. The realization left him breathless. Who was behind this? And why? The first time Daniel voiced his concerns to Sharon, her reaction was unsettling. She had brushed it off, almost too easily, as if she wanted to redirect his focus away from Heather's phone. That had only deepened his suspicions. He couldn't deny that something strange was going on, and Sharon was acting too casual about it. What Daniel didn't know was that Sharon's mind was unraveling faster than anyone could have guessed. She had her own demons to face, Cameron, or at least the ghost of him, lingered in her thoughts, whispering twisted ideas into her ear. He was always there, pushing her to the edge, convincing her that she needed to eliminate Daniel before he got too close to the truth. Cameron's voice was relentless, hissing at her, urging her to act before it was too late. Sharon had known for a while now that Daniel was close to uncovering what had really happened to Heather. The stolen phone, the fake messages, these were just the beginning. If Daniel dug any deeper, he would find out everything, and then it would all be over. The thought of prison terrified Sharon more than anything. She couldn't let Daniel destroy everything she had built. Cameron's voice had grown stronger over the past few days, hammering the same command over and over, kill Daniel, and throw his body into the river near Heather's house. Let them die together. The plan seemed too easy, too perfect. Sharon had already broken into Daniel's house once before, unnoticed, slipping in and out like a shadow. This time, it would be no different. She knew every inch of his home. She knew where he kept his spare keys, how to bypass his security system. Killing Daniel would be a simple task, she had made sure of that. Sharon had spent days preparing, gathering everything she needed, a gun, a knife, and a vial of poison. She wasn't sure which method she would use yet, but it didn't matter. All she needed was to silence Daniel once and for all, by any means necessary. Sharon's hands shook slightly as she packed the items into a small bag. Her resolve was firm, but fear crept into the corners of her mind. She couldn't afford to hesitate. She had to act quickly, before Daniel figured out the truth. Across town, Daniel was growing increasingly desperate. He knew he was onto something, but the pieces weren't fitting together as they should. Why would anyone want to impersonate Heather? What was the point? And why had Sharon been acting so strangely? He couldn't shake the feeling that she knew more than she was letting on. Just as Daniel was about to leave his apartment to continue his investigation, he heard a faint noise at the door. His instincts kicked in immediately. Someone was inside. He grabbed a nearby lamp as a weapon and moved quietly toward the source of the noise. His heart raced as he rounded the corner, prepared to confront whoever had broken in. But nothing could have prepared him for what he saw. There, standing in the shadows with a look of cold determination, was Sharon. Her eyes, usually filled with warmth and compassion, were hollow and distant. In her hand, she clutched a gun, her fingers tight around the handle. The sight of it made Daniel's blood run cold. Sharon, what the hell are you doing? Daniel demanded, his voice thick with confusion and fear. Sharon didn't respond immediately. Her mind was racing, Cameron's voice whispering in her ear, telling her to pull the trigger, to end it now before it was too late. 
but she hesitated, if only for a second. Daniel, she finally said, her voice low and trembling. You should have stopped looking. You shouldn't have tried to find Heather.